Mike De Palma. First off, fifth year. Fifth year senior. Did it, has, it, has it gone fast, Mike? Yeah, it's gone a little too fast. I wish I was in the freshman year again. Be nice. Looking at, you know, you came from Edinburgh, where you never, well, you did actually break the starting lineup at 157, your sophomore year, or was your freshman year? Freshman year, yeah. Looking, looking at that, you know, you got to train with Dave Habit, you got to train with Vic, you had all these, you know, really tough guys that you made, you know, obviously Mitchell yeah. Porter, AJ Shop, you guys are really good. Yeah, Corey Mines, yeah. great, great team there. Coming to Kent State, has it been the right choice for you, and, and, and how do you feel going into this final year? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 100% the right choice. I mean, this is the program for me, and I've improved a lot here. Uh, over these past three years, and I'm still making a lot of improvements. So, I mean, I couldn't have made a better choice for my college pitch. Looking at, uh, you know, last year, it was just such a mixed bag for you, man. Uh, it, was a, it was a rough year, and it uh, it took a lot of off-season training and a lot of sleepless nights to get over that year. It looked like at, at points that you couldn't even do a push-up to me, What I, you know, my observation in wrestling. You didn't have any power with your, I think it was your right side? you right. It's, I actually think it was just a lot more mental. I had a, a lot of trouble getting over it's the mental aspect of uh, not having a good summer training and you know being a little injured. I, I wasn't strong enough mentally to kind of push through that, and that was a mistake I made. You know, an experience I never had surgery before. We look at 149 this year. There's a lot of guys I think you can roll with. You know, you got the great top game. You're, you're a great scrambler. Um, you're good on the bottom. I mean, you're good in all three positions. So, you know, a lot of your guys aren't as well-rounded as you are. But looking at this year, I mean. Your, your two NCAA experiences probably haven't been the best. You're winning big in two matches last year, and you lose those matches. Is that a part of that mental thing, would you say? Yeah, 100%. And uh, that's something that I believe I am over and something that I've really focused on this summer. You know, reaching out to a lot of different guys and uh, a lot of old teammates, going different places to train, and that's something that uh, I think I really kind of broke that hump, and that's the first time in my life I felt that way, because I've always had a little mental hump I never could break. And, like I finally got over that hump. Are you under the impression, are you like one of those guys that's like training to win the national title? Can you win the national title? Or are you one of those guys that's like, man, I'll just be happy to be an All-American? How do you attack that mentality? I see it as you got to be the top of the podium. And there's no, you know, I'm not going to be okay with a third or a fifth or, or no and two like last year. It's like if I'm not at the top, then I see my wrestling career as a disappointment, you know, to some extent. Obviously, I love wrestling, but if you're not going to... Well, for me, just I put so much time and effort in that I need to be the best at it before I'm done. Are you having fun doing oh, it? So, you know, it's in your fifth year? Oh, my goodness. This is the funnest season of training I've had in my life. The summer, I mean, everything. We had so many good workouts and places to train. I mean, got to travel a little bit to train, and that was just... This is the most fun I've ever had training. You, you got to train with Dave a little bit this summer up yeah, in Michigan. Do you like Michigan. that? Oh, it was a blast. He, uh, he's feeling good. That kid can wrestle. <laughs> he's... Uh, He's going to freestyle stage by storm. Uh, looking at this year, you guys as a team, you've kind of like the years you've been here as a team, you've had some up, you've had some downs. You know, like last year the MAC tournament for you was just, I thought it was like very fitting for, you know, you had just a rough season, a 500 season. And then you come back at the MAC tournament and you, you pin claxed and you had some just great matches. Looking at that MAC tournament, looking at the team, what can you guys do to. to to challenge for the MAC, which I think there's a lot of parity in the MAC right now. There wasn't last year. There is this year. What can you guys do to challenge to be the MAC champions this year and get eight, ten guys to nationals? Work our tails off and do the right things right now. I mean, we just need our whole team buying into doing the right diet, getting to bed on time, staying in on the weekends, and you know, training really, really, really hard right now. If we do that, I think it, we can be a pretty tough team to reckon with. So we have the talent. I mean, you know that. It is. If everybody stays focused this year, does the right things, and we keep a positive mindset, I think we could be a, a very dominant team. Tell me about this scooter. What's going on with the scooter <laughs> business? How many you got at your house? We got two at the house. We got two uh, You Lexus. and Mac McGuire? Yeah. Is it like a motorcycle gang? Oh, yeah, it's a scooter gang. <laughs> Tough to drive around town on. You guys really, like, you don't need a license to drive those ones, right? You need a... Uh, driver's license. You need your driver's license because it's under CC. But it's street legal, so... It's fun. I'm surprised more people around here don't have them. Yeah, parking. Is, yeah. Can you park anywhere you want to with that? You have a pass. Would you, oh, you just park wherever you want? They don't, see, want? It. They don't see it. You put it behind some bushes? <laughs> yeah. All right, hey, Mike. Thanks for the time. You got anything else for me? That's it. All right, hey, man. Always good talking to you. Yeah.